Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can turn your favorite PDFs and Word documents and Google documents into online interactive activities for your students. So this is teachermade.com. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Here I am signed in. So what I'm going to do is now that I'm signed into my account, let's hit get started. And we're going to create a worksheet. And we'll just call this one my sample word activity. So it's just a demo. And now I'm going to drag in a PDF that I have on my computer. You can see there it also works with JPEG and PNG files and docx files, but we'll use my PDF. And when I do that, it's now going to convert it for me to create a worksheet. And here I can now insert all kinds of things for my students to do. For example, maybe I want to have my students fill in here with a little short answer. So I'll click on short answer. I'm going to highlight the area where I want them to write their answer. So right in that blank space. And there it is. So when they see this, they'll be able to write in that space. Now let's do a multiple choice. So let's go here to insert. And we'll do multiple choice. I'm going to have four choices. And I'm now just going to line those up right over my existing choices that were previously on my worksheet. And I'm going to select transparent there if I want to not have white space around it. So there it is. And so students will click on the choice that they want to make. Now down here with this picture that I have in my PDF, I'm going to now insert some check boxes. I'm going to do single check box. And I'm going to put it right here. And again, I'm going to select transparent. So we just have the outline for it. And I'm going to insert in here another single checkbox. I'm going to give students some other options of other places that they could check on. So let's do one more. Let's insert one more checkbox. Let's say it's over here. And we'll make that transparent as well. Now, we need to go in and take care of our scoring. So let's go up here and set default scores as, let's say, five points for each one. And now let's edit that short answer and put in the correct answers that will get counted for our number of points as five points. And you can see here with our short answer, they can match the case, or we can require matching the cases. Let's save those changes. Here with our multiple choice, we'll hit edit multiple choice. We got our number of choices. And we want to make sure that we have selected the answer choice that is correct. And likewise down here, let's edit that checkbox. We're going to have our point value there of five points. Save those changes. And make sure we have that checked to be the correct answer. We'll make these other ones over here worth no points. Or we could say and worth one point or two points. Maybe I'll give one point for being on the map. Likewise, over here, I'll do one point. So now, let's go ahead and hit Save on this. So we've saved it, hit the Close button. Now let's create this as an assignment. So let's create the assignment. And here's one of the really great things about TeacherMade is I can have students sign with a Google account. I can have them using their name or ID. Or I can create 
my list of names here. So let's say Mason the dog and Max the dog are my students that I'm going to assign for this activity. We can let students see their scores or not see their scores immediately. Let's go ahead and create this assignment. Now let's copy that link. You can see I can put it in Google Classroom or I can put it wherever I want in any other LMS that I want to use. And the student goes here, types in Mason the dog, hits start, and now over here, can start filling this in. And clicks on those and hits I'm done when they are done with it. Now, as the teacher, I can immediately see Mason the dog has submitted it and he scored 100% because I had it automatically graded. So that's a short overview of TeacherMade that you can use to turn your old PDFs, Word docs, and images into online activities for your students. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.